Hello and welcome to Caffeine Zombies with breaking news. Today is July 8th, 2024, and we'll be going over France again, NASA getting closer to proving we're living on an artificial planet, and Hurricane Barrel is screwing over Texans. Let's get going before these clowns shove me into their car. I'm number 82. France, indeed, they've been in the news again, and why? Because it's really a toss-up between France's more conservative party and liberal one in their elections. This election has more plot twists in it than a soap opera. What's happened is, though the conservative far right was looking into like it was going to win, uh, but then the centrists and the left at this gathered up and focused the votes to ensure that the far right did not win the day. However, it does mean that no one knows yet who the prime minister is going to be, nor what they will represent in terms of policy. This is important because this kind of break hasn't happened in a very long time for France. And so its political direction going forward is going to require a lot more negotiations. How their prime minister gets picked will be a little snapshot into what the political future of France will look like over the election cycle, and perhaps what a USA with three major parties could do if we go that way. NASA is at it again. They've created an artificial 1700 square foot version of Mars in a 3D printed castle. They look in, they took an entire computer simulation of Mars and worked out a bit of it with 3D printing, and they say they can't solve arthritis. We're building Mars on Earth. At least for the five people who have been stuck in this simulation over the course of a year, where they had to grow their own food, maintain equipment, and more on their own locked away, which is pretty much a survival video game. It kind of reminds me also of Biosphere 2. Look it up. And Texas is fighting a battle it cannot win. Hurricane Barrel is proving two things yet again. Fully privatizing your power grid is a terrible idea, and climate change is going to fuck you whether you like it or not. And since it's Texas, they have to keep the seed that was sowed, despite it being a traumatic reminder of the horrible thing that happened. This story, sadly, isn't a new one, and it's just going to keep getting worse. As I've covered, hurricane severity is just getting worse year after year, and we're many years from being able to reverse this problem, even if we started today. Not a lot more that I can say about this except. Something useless, like, my thoughts and prayers go out to Texans, but I dare not spend any of my tax dollars fighting the root cause nor voting for free to help fight it. On with another thing that some pretend isn't happening while clearly killing people. What mass shootings happened yesterday? Well, in this case, over the weekend. In Milwaukee, Wisconsin, on the corner of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Drive and 6th Street, four people were injured, with two of them being teens that are 18. Suspects are unknown at this time. In Florence, Kentucky, at 2673 Ridgecrest Drive, four people were killed, three injured, and the suspect ended up dead in what was thought to be a murder-suicide by the suspect who invaded during one of the victim's son's birthday, fled, and then shot himself. In Akron, Ohio, on the 800 block of Morning View Avenue, four people were injured, one of whom was only four years old. The suspect has been arrested, but the motive is yet unknown. In Detroit, Michigan, on the corner of Reno Street and R Rossini Drive, three people were killed and 18, 18 people were injured, multiples of whom were teenagers. When at a house party, nine guns were used, well, nine guns were identified as having been used to shoot up the place. This is ridiculous. People are blaming the problem on block parties. Okay, and let's end on a controversial topic. The fact that crop circles started off as a practical joke doesn't make the universe less magical because of the lack of evidence for alien life. It makes it more magical that such a thing could take off. Do you even begin to understand the effort it would take to make a giant crop circle, let alone make it look like something Earthlings would understand, then wait for someone to be flying over a state where crop circles can even be made? That's art. Amazing, amazing art. God bless those jokesters, everyone.